In a distant sector of the galaxy, amidst the swirling nebulas and twinkling stars, lies the serene world of Alluria, home to the Allurians, a species known for their peaceful ways and artistic achievements. Their society, built on principles of harmony and collaboration, had flourished for millennia, untouched by the scourges of war that plagued many other civilizations. The Allurians were a felinoid race, with soft fur, expressive eyes, and a grace that permeated every aspect of their culture. They lived in harmony with their planet, their cities blending seamlessly into the lush, verdant landscapes. Art, music, and philosophy were the pillars of their civilization, with every citizen encouraged to explore and contribute to the cultural tapestry. However, this idyllic existence was shattered when the Draconids, a formidable race known for their militaristic prowess and expansionist desires, set their sights on Alluria, towering reptilian beings with scales that shimmered like gemstones. The Draconids viewed the Allurians' lack of military inclination as a weakness, marking Alluria as an easy target for their empire's relentless expansion. As the Draconid Armada approached, darkening the Allurian skies with their colossal warships, a palpable sense of dread settled over the planet. The Allurians, with their limited defense capabilities, knew they stood little chance against the impending invasion. In a move born of desperation, they sent out a galactic distress signal, hoping for a miracle, for someone to aid them in their darkest hour. To their surprise, the call was answered, but not by the allies they expected. Humanity, a relatively young species in the galactic community, known for their diversity and, notably, their omnivorous dietary habits, considered carnivorous by the strictly herbivorous Allurians, responded. The humans, with their history of overcoming adversity and their robust military technology, saw an opportunity not just to aid a fellow civilization, but also to assert their growing stature among the stars. A human fleet, under the command of Admiral Sarah Knox, made the journey to Aluria. The fleet was a testament to human ingenuity and resilience, comprising vessels that bore the scars of past conflicts and the emblems of Earth's united nations. The Allurians greeted them with a mix of awe and apprehension, their eyes wide as they beheld the human ships descending from the heavens. Admiral Knox, a veteran of interstellar diplomacy and conflict, stepped onto Allurian soil with a small delegation of officers and diplomats. They were greeted by Allurian emissaries, their fur bristling with anxiety yet their posture exuding a cautious welcome. Through universal translators, greetings were exchanged, and the gravity of the situation was laid bare. The humans offered their assistance, proposing a plan to bolster Aluria's defenses and turn back the Draconid threat. In exchange, they asked for access to Aluria's rich cultural heritage and the opportunity to establish a diplomatic and trade relationship. The Allurians, faced with the prospect of annihilation or subjugation, agreed ushering in an unprecedented alliance between the two disparate species. As human engineers and tacticians began to work alongside Illyrian scholars and scientists, a sense of hope began to blossom. Human soldiers trained Illyrian volunteers in the basics of combat, while human strategists pored over star maps, devising plans to counter the Draconid advance. In the days that followed, Illyria transformed. Defensive installations rose alongside ancient groves, and human starfighters patrolled the skies above Allurian cities. The Allurians, for their part, contributed with their advanced knowledge of energy and environmental manipulation, offering new perspectives on warfare and defense. Yet, as the Draconid fleet loomed ever closer, a palpable tension gripped the planet. Would the combined strength of humans and Allurians be enough to repel the invaders? Or would Alluria fall? its culture and beauty lost to the ravages of war. The stage was set for a confrontation that would not only determine the fate of Alluria, but also define the future of human-Allurian relations and their place in the galactic tapestry. The vast expanse of space above Alluria buzzed with anticipation and a tinge of fear as the human fleet, a collection of vessels bearing the marks of a species no stranger to conflict, entered the planet's orbit. The ships, a mix of formidable battleships and agile cruisers, stood in stark contrast to the tranquil beauty of the planet below, a world unaccustomed to the specters of war. Admiral Sarah Knox, aboard the flagship USS Endeavor, surveyed the Allurian landscape through her ship's viewports. She understood the gravity of the mission, not just to repel an invasion but to bridge two vastly different cultures. 
Her crew, a microcosm of Earth's diversity, shared a palpable sense of responsibility, aware that their actions would echo far beyond the immediate conflict. On the surface, Allurian emissaries awaited the humans, their expressions a blend of curiosity and apprehension. The Allurians, with their lithe forms and expressive tails, watched as shuttles descended from the human fleet, their sleek designs cutting through the planet's atmosphere. The initial meeting between Admiral Knox and the Allurian High Council was a momentous event, held in one of Alluria's great halls, a structure that harmoniously blended natural beauty with architectural genius, the gathering was charged with a cautious optimism. Knox, with her seasoned diplomatic acumen, extended a hand of friendship and alliance, pledging to stand with Alluria against the Draconid threat. The Allurians, led by High Counselor Lyran, reciprocated, expressing their gratitude and a willingness to learn from their new allies. Lyran, a distinguished figure known for his wisdom and artistic achievements, saw in the humans a spark of unpredictability, a potential key to overcoming the Draconids. As the alliance took shape, human and Allurian teams began a frenetic exchange of knowledge and strategies. Human engineers collaborated with Allurian counterparts to fortify key locations, integrating advanced human weaponry with Allurian environmental control technologies. Training camps sprang up across the planet, where human soldiers imparted basic combat skills to Allurian volunteers, who approached the training with a mix of eagerness and trepidation. In orbit, Joint patrols of human and Allurian ships began, a symbol of their united front. Allurian pilots, adept at navigating their planet's unique atmospheric conditions, provided invaluable insights, while human tacticians offered lessons in fleet maneuvers and interstellar combat. But the Alliance was not without its challenges. Cultural misunderstandings arose, with human directness sometimes clashing with Allurian sensibilities. Dietary differences in particular became a topic of intrigue and occasional unease, as the herbivorous Allurians observed their omnivorous allies with a blend of fascination and apprehension. Yet, through these challenges, a bond formed, strengthened by shared purpose and the looming shadow of the Draconid threat. Stories of human bravery and resilience began to circulate among the Allurians, who found inspiration in the tales of a species that had faced its own share of trials and tribulations. As the days passed, the Alliance grew stronger, a testament to the potential for unity in the face of adversity. The Allurians, once isolated by their peaceful ways, found themselves part of a broader tapestry of galactic life, standing shoulder to shoulder with humanity against a common foe. And as the first Draconid ships appeared on the edge of the system, a sense of resolve settled over the Allied forces. Together, they prepared to face the coming storm, their partnership a beacon of hope and defiance in a galaxy where conflict and harmony were eternally intertwined. As the Draconid fleet loomed ominously at the edge of the Allurian system, a palpable tension gripped the Allied forces. The human fleet, now intertwined with Allurian vessels, stood as a united front against the impending onslaught. The Draconids, known for their ruthless efficiency in battle, approached with a confidence born of countless conquered worlds. Admiral Sarah Knox, Standing on the bridge of the USS Endeavor, coordinated the defense alongside her Allurian counterpart, Commander Tyron, a seasoned Allurian pilot known for his strategic acumen. The plan was to leverage the Allurians' intimate knowledge of their system's unique gravitational anomalies and the humans' tactical prowess to create a defensive strategy that could thwart the Draconids' superior numbers. The first skirmishes were intense. Draconid fighters, sleek and menacing, clashed with human and Allurian defenders in the outer reaches of the system. The Allurians, though new to space combat, adapted quickly, their agility in the pilot seat proving to be a valuable asset. Human pilots, on the other hand, brought a level of aggression and unpredictability that caught the Draconids off guard. On the surface of Alluria, the population watched the skies with bated breath, their fate in the hands of their new allies and their own fledgling defenders. Propaganda broadcast by the Draconids had promised a swift and merciless conquest, but the resilience of the Allied forces began to sow seeds of doubt among the invading ranks. The first major engagement occurred near the gas giant Aileron, where the Draconids attempted to establish a forward base. The Allied forces, utilizing guerrilla tactics refined in the asteroid fields of Alluria, launched a surprise assault. Human cruisers, armed with powerful kinetic weapons, shattered Draconid defenses, 
while Illyrian ships, nimble and elusive, harassed the enemy flanks, creating openings for decisive strikes. Amidst the chaos of battle, stories of heroism emerged. A young Illyrian pilot, Lyra, became a beacon of hope for her people as she daringly navigated through a barrage of enemy fire to deliver critical intelligence to the Allied commanders. Meanwhile, a human marine unit, led by Captain Michael Vega, boarded and seized control of a Draconid destroyer, turning its weapons against the invaders. The battle near Eluron ended in a hard-fought victory for the Allied forces, but the war was far from over. The Draconids, stunned by their initial losses, regrouped for a more significant assault. Now aware that the conquest of Eluria would not be as straightforward as they had anticipated. In the aftermath of the battle, a solemn recognition settled over the Allied commanders. The Draconids would return, and in greater numbers. The time between skirmishes was a precious resource, a chance to fortify, strategize, and prepare for the grueling campaign ahead. On Eluria, the alliance between humans and Ellurians strengthened further. Shared victories and losses forged bonds of camaraderie and trust, transcending the vast differences between their species. The Ellurians' initial apprehension toward their carnivorous allies gave way to a newfound respect, born of shared sacrifices and a common goal, the preservation of Alluria and the defeat of the Draconid menace. As the Allied forces braced for the next wave of attacks, they did so as a united front, their resolve steeling them against the uncertainty of the conflict ahead. The fate of Alluria hung in the balance, but together, humans and Allurians faced the future with determination and a shared belief in their cause, ready to defend their alliance and their world against the darkness encroaching upon their stars. In the aftermath of their unexpected victory near Eluron, the allied forces of humans and Allurians found themselves not just as cohorts in battle, but as comrades in arms. The victory, while minor in the grand scheme of the galactic conflict, was a profound testament to the efficacy of their united front against the Draconids. It sparked a beacon of hope on Eluria and within the fleet, galvanizing the Alliance with a renewed sense of purpose and camaraderie. Admiral Sarah Knox and Commander Tyron, now battle-tested partners, worked tirelessly to refine their strategies. They pored over data from the skirmishes, analyzing Draconid tactics and formulating countermeasures. The humans' adaptability and tactical ingenuity, combined with the Allurians' unparalleled knowledge of their home system's spatial dynamics, created a formidable defense strategy. Meanwhile, on the ground, the atmosphere among the Allurian populace began to shift. The initial fear and trepidation gave way to a burgeoning sense of resilience. Training camps, where Allurian volunteers learned the art of warfare from human instructors, became hubs of activity. The humans, for their part, adapted their teaching methods to suit their Allurian allies, fostering a mutual respect that transcended the battlefield. The cultural exchange went beyond military collaboration. Human and Allurian scientists worked side by side, blending their technological and environmental expertise to fortify Alluria's defenses. Human engineers were introduced to Allurian bioarchitectural techniques, leading to innovative structures that blended human engineering prowess with natural aesthetics. In orbit, joint patrols became a common sight, with mixed crews operating seamlessly to monitor and defend Allurian space. The crews shared stories, music, and even food, with humans tentatively sampling Allurian cuisine, and Allurians cautiously exploring the more palatable aspects of human fare. But the shadow of the Draconid threat loomed ever-present. Intelligence reports indicated that the Draconids were amassing a much larger force, intent on crushing the unexpected resistance that had thwarted their initial advances. The Allied commanders knew that the real test of their partnership was yet to come. As the Draconid Armada approached, a sense of solemnity settled over the Allied forces. Strategy sessions grew more intense, and training drills became more rigorous. The Allurians, inspired by human determination, began to exhibit a newfound tenacity, a willingness to defend their home with a fervor that matched their allies. When the Draconid fleet finally arrived, it was with a ferocity that eclipsed their previous assault. A swirling mass of warships descended upon Eluria, their weapons blazing. The Allied fleet met them head-on, with Knox and Tyron coordinating their forces in a ballet of strategic precision. The battle was fierce, with both sides suffering significant losses. Alurian cruisers, now more adept in combat, 
wove through the chaos, executing the maneuvers they had learned from their human counterparts. Human ships, bolstered by Allurian environmental tech, utilized the planet's unique atmospheric anomalies to their advantage, creating traps and ambushes that sapped the draconid momentum. On the surface, Allurians watched the sky, their hearts with the defenders above. The outcome of this battle would determine the fate of their world. As the conflict raged, the alliance between humans and Allurians was not just a military pact, but a bond forged in the crucible of war, a testament to the power of unity in the face of a common enemy. The battle's climax came when Nox and Tyran executed a daring plan to breach the Draconid flagship's defenses, a move that required perfect synchrony between the Allied forces. In a moment that would become legendary, the plan succeeded, delivering a crippling blow to the Draconid command. As the Draconid fleet retreated, battered and leaderless, cheers erupted across Allurian cities and throughout the Allied ships. The victory was a turning point, a clear signal that the alliance between humans and Allurians was not just a temporary measure, but a profound union of two distinct but equally determined civilizations, ready to face whatever challenges the galaxy held for them. The retreat of the Draconid fleet marked a turning point in the history of Alluria and symbolized the dawn of a new era in human Allurian relations. The victory, achieved through unity and shared courage, resonated across the galaxy, altering the perception of both species in the eyes of other civilizations. The humans, once seen as mere upstarts, were now respected as valiant defenders and strategic masterminds, while the Allurians shed their image of pacifistic isolationists to be recognized as resilient and resourceful allies. In the aftermath of the conflict, Alluria transformed. The scars of battle served as reminders of the cost of freedom and the value of interstellar friendship. The Allurians and humans, bound by a common struggle, embarked on a collaborative journey, blending their cultures, technologies, and visions for a shared future. Reconstruction efforts on Alluria were bolstered by human engineering prowess, infused with Allurian aesthetic and environmental sensibilities. Cities rose from the ruins, embodying a fusion of human innovation and Allurian artistry, serving as enduring symbols of their combined strength and unity. Admiral Sarah Knox and Commander Tyron hailed as heroes continued to foster the alliance, advocating for a permanent coalition that would not only safeguard Alluria, but also serve as a beacon of cooperation in a galaxy often fraught with conflict. The Treaty of Allurian Unity, signed in a grand ceremony attended by representatives from various galactic civilizations, formalized this coalition, establishing a framework for mutual defense, cultural exchange, and shared prosperity. The Allurian military, now a formidable force, integrated human tactical training with their innate agility and environmental acumen, forming a unique cadre of defenders ready to protect their world and allies. Joint human Allurian fleets patrolled the borders of their space, a testament to their enduring commitment to safeguard the peace they had so dearly won. On a deeper level, the Alliance catalyzed a profound cultural exchange. Human and Allurian scholars worked together, uncovering new scientific insights and philosophical perspectives. Allurian art and music, infused with the depth of their recent experiences, captivated human audiences, while human creativity and literature inspired Allurians, leading to a vibrant cross-pollination of ideas and artistry. As years passed, the Alliance's legacy grew. Allurians and humans, once distant neighbors in the vast galactic tapestry, now stood as close allies, their destinies intertwined. They explored the stars together, faced challenges as a united front, and built a partnership that transcended mere necessity, becoming a testament to the potential for unity and mutual respect in a diverse universe. The victory over the Draconids was not just a triumph over a common enemy, but a triumph over the barriers that so often divide different peoples and cultures. It heralded a new chapter for Alluria and humanity, one where the bonds of friendship and cooperation were forged in the fires of adversity, shaping a future where unity was the cornerstone of a brighter, shared destiny in the cosmos.